All right, so for a little amateur slash professional StarCraft, we have Killjoy SC in the top right corner. Where's my, where's my, oh yeah, I can't use those, that's right. Oh, that's one, one problem. Okay. And in the bottom, we have M Canics, the Terran player, aka M Canning, playing off race. So M Canning already has an SCV on the map. Obviously, this is going to be interesting. The question is, how many Raxes will he build? Alright, so he's got, okay, he's going two racks, proxy, or slash hidden, proxy two racks, and MK, or, uh, Killjoy is starting off with a standard build of a gateway, gas first, alright, now is this going to be marines or reapers, we will see. Standard early expand from Killjoy. It's gonna make this uh, this two racks interesting. Okay, it has been scouted, but uh, doesn't seem. What is Killjoy gonna react with? Reacts with his cyber core per usual, and still no unit production. Okay, M Canning is going Marines. Means okay, so he's getting ready for this to potentially be Reapers. Drops another gas, but Dill does not have any units to counter this attack. M Canning at home is doing well, pretty much nothing. Okay, double bunker going down in front of the natural. There we go. Extra zoom out. All right, so Killjoy finally finally starting to drop some high ground defense. Is he gonna let this Nexus finish? He does let the Nexus finish. All right, M Canning still keeping up his marine production and finally dropping a factory at home. Okay, first. Adept is out. Shield battery is up. Twilight is down. Second Adept is being brought out. Both bunkers are up and loaded. M. Canning has decided that he has seen enough and done enough. And bringing, flying the two barracks home. And ah, uh, when things don't go right, what do you do? Proxy DT Gateway with a recall of the probe back home. So Killjoy in no immediate rush to do anything other than make sure he does not die. Other interesting thing on this topic is that M Canning is finally expanding but not even expanding on location. He's got a starport going and he has a cyclone in production. And he's still only on 23 workers. So, clearly a very interesting game so far. Killjoy is still going to be stuck in his base until he gets something to counter those bunkers. And the Adepts are not going to do it by themselves. The additional gateways in production and a Stalker coming out shortly. There, and there's that Stalker popping out. M. Canning still sitting in one base, even though he has his second command center done. Uh, that's what we call a bitchy turtle Terran. I play that style quite often. Um, M. Canning at this point has actually removed his marines from the bunkers, sending them home. Did a little corner scouting, but unfortunately scouted the wrong corner. And here comes the DTs. Let's see, is he going to see this? the same time he's going to take out the bunkers realize he can deal with that they were on a move so boom 
DTs are at the main. Scan is taken. He does have the he will have the energy for one more scan. Actually, real quick, let's get the music going. I didn't realize it didn't have any of the music going right now. There we go. Let's go. Let's keep it classic. There we go. Don't do a little too much though. Except there we go. Chain it. Yeah, it's good. All right. All right. Killjoy is finally getting himself out of his base. The proxy gateway DT shrine has been scouted. And Killjoy finally, five minutes into the game, has expanded. Crazy thing is, he will actually, let's see if, let's see if he starts mining his natural before M Canning does. Let's see. Double bunker in the high ground. With idle SCVs. All right. M Canning, I know you could destroy me in any game I ever played against you. But uh, you're playing like a scared little girl. But that's okay. We got Widow Mines going up on the high ground. And a same worker lead with a minor army lead for M. Canning. M. Canning has had the second command center done for a while, but he has just let it sit in his main. Yes, I think at this point we will see Starport being dropped to drop a reactor on it. Yep, I'm pretty sure at this point we will see Killjoy mine from his natural before M. Canning putting himself at a major disadvantage of what could have been a massive lead off of the proxy two racks. All right, we got a gaggle of Dark Templar, five in particular, with DT Blink. What's a DT Blink called again? Shadow, Shadow, Shadow something, right? Okay, take out the rocks. Observer's looking. He does have a raven for detection. And again, is finally just expanding to his natural. Killjoy has now taken a solid worker lead. And is slightly behind an army supply. Killjoy at this point is just solidifying his economy and is going to expand to a third. I'm canning scans. He scans the natural and just kind of sees what's out there. At this point, Killjoy does not exactly know if there's been a move out because his scouting is over here. But he did seem to brace for impact. Nothing is coming. Raven and the Marines are going to go over here, over and destroy the proxy. And a DT Shrine drops immediately back in the main to counter the loss of that. That pylon loss did supply block Killjoy, so he does need to get another pylon going, which he still has not realized. And there it goes. Okay. Pylon down. Okay, M Canning still kind of turtling into his natural. These DTs kind of still hanging out. We are Marines looking at a gateway, a depowered gateway. Third going up. Okay, only upgrade that has been issued so far is plus one for the Marines. Uh, they do have stim, and it does look like they have combat shields as well. Okay. DTs still sit outside of the main base. 
Observer out. There is a Raven, so whenever that does happen, Killjoy finally has his third base up and is transferring some probes. Okay. Drops a couple DTs at home. Alright, where'd that Raven go? Okay, Raven is over there. Okay, DTs go unnoticed. But Killjoy does know that the base is moving out with an also a scouting hallucinated phoenix. How's he gonna handle this? Okay, DT's blinking. He scans while he has a turret in place. This distracts him enough to not attack in, and the attack move goes in now. A couple more units get to get. No, a couple more Dark Templar get locked in. Okay. That's, oh! Oh, the back fleet. Oh, God, the Riddle Mines. Not a great engagement for Killjoy. Not a great engagement at all. Raven is doing auto turret damage. Is just making things more difficult. DTs are still in the main, though. Oh. Oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, DTs have finally been cleared out. It does not look like much infrastructure was destroyed, and I did not be able to see what's the. Okay, down to 41 SCVs. Okay, I did not catch how much SCV, how many SCVs died there, but still a couple widow mines hanging out on the map to make this uncomfortable for M canning. Zealot hit squad over on the far side, ready to go. As M Canning actually does expand over to his third. All right, we got plus two, plus two going for both parties, and plus one. Plus one factory. I don't, I don't know why I'm drawing a complete blank on what that is actually referred to as, but. All right, Killjoy trying to kind of figure out exactly how he wants to engage or what he wants to do. Um, he is still down significantly in army supply. While having a stronger economy. M Cannon probably could have moved, continued to move forward and kill him, but those few DTs just completely threw him off. The latest Widow mine drop in the history of StarCraft. The the old 12 minute widow mine drop. About to come in. Let's see if that actually does come to fruition. Alright. The Zealot hit squad kind of moves forward. Marines are moving out to I have no idea where. And here comes the widow mines. Let's see. He goes through the middle of the base because that's usually where, you know, widow mines go. Ooh! Misclick! Initially. Oh, get... Oh. oh. Okay. He... Perfect defense. And down goes the medevac. Okay. Fourth base. Going down. Marines moving in. Will he get the cancel? I think he's going to get the cancel. Yes. Good cancel. By Killjoy. He immediately gets it back up. First Colossi is on the map. 3-3 three, three in the queue for M Canning. And three attack going for Killjoy right immediately afterwards, along with ex excuse me, extended thermal lands. M Canning actually okay, no. Killjoy has a worker lead still. An 11 worker lead. But still down 20 army supply. This shouldn't be too big of a, a deal, being that M. Canning seems to just be sitting in his base doing nothing. Oh, and what is that? Is that the. That is the. Okay, the barracks. The barracks fortitude is being stood up. He's flying over a fourth command center and has a fifth building in the main. Again, a couple widow mines scattered throughout the map. 
that will probably be pesky. Still, the zealot hit squad is kind of sitting and hanging out. Widow mine has to blow its load on a existing hallucinated phoenix. Okay, scan on the army moving out. Killjoy decides to maybe just still hang out at home. Oh, yep, he was trying to catch some army continue to move, but that ended up being for nothing, because he had already gone back home. Okay. And down go the Stargates. The three Stargates and Fleet Beacon going down. Oh no, that's a shield. Those are four shield batteries are going down. Fleet Beacon is not yet going down. Alright, oh. M. Canning's army is moving out. Of somehow avoiding. Your upgrade's done. Wow, okay, he's nope. He, he, he caught them. He caught them. Okay. I was like, really? Is he not going to see that? I think there was somebody trying to sneak in the back there. I missed what it was. But it did not get through. M. Canning almost maxed out. Still down quite a few workers. But working his way up into a respectable army size. But... Killjoy does not waste time and jumps right on this army, linking the DTs into the middle of the, the kerfuffle. Oh my goodness, dominate, what an engagement. What an engagement. Yes, he lost the DTs, but he kept all of his colossi, completely took out all that infantry, and pretty much dismantled M. Canning's attempt to take out that base. Loses a Raven in retreat as well. And uh, Killjoy did not maintain the army supply, but uh, does have, has really leveled the playing field here. He is continuing to chase the army back as we go on. Okay, zoning out. Liberator is done. We have DTs hiding. We have a we just have a colossi hanging out in the middle of the map. I do not know why. It is also within uh, sensor tower range, but you know who's keeping track of these things? DTs blink in. A scan is done. I don't know why. There are turrets. That's kind of why you built them. Bunker is destroyed. Army moving in on this side. Oh my goodness! It's the double prom. Colossi just ripping through. Ripping through the infantry. Okay, after a solid go of that and the DT's doing some good work, Killjoy decides to retreat and recoup. Killjoy, will he run away his prism? which did not get scanned by the skin of its teeth. That is a lot of Marauders. Holy goodness. 3-3 three, three Marauders with obviously concussive shells and stim. That is definitely one way to counter a gateway Protoss army. What is that? Five Colossi on the map? Good lord. Oh, this Colossi is going... Oh, nope. Looking like it was going for a walk. Got a small Zealot hit squad over here. Observer in the middle. Prism. Okay, army. The Marauder army is moving out. Quick scan. I'm guessing just trying to check for observers. So at this point, I'm wondering... If M. Canning is thinking he's doing a little bit of a cheese or a like, uh, a cheese might be the wrong word, but you know, an M only build, he is M. Canning. Is he just doing a Marine Marauder Medivac Mine kind of build? Yes, there's been a Viking or two. Yes, I think there's been a Raven, so he can't, he's not really holding to it a hundred percent. Um, but, uh, is he doing kind of a, only units that start with M type of build for the stream or something. Okay. 
Okay, Zealot, Zealot hit squad moves in right as the army moves in on the other side. Perfect timing on that. Colossi are just ripping through things. Uh, was that? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. There's nothing here. Watch, watch for it, wait for it. Oh, that, what did that poor sentry do to his brethren Protoss units? Oh my god. Zealots stood here and did nothing after they cleared out the thing. M canning is on five bases, but only on 41 workers. Killjoy also on five five bases, but with, sol with a solid, nice number of 69 probes. Okay, the two armies pass in the night. I do not believe they see each other. A forward mine, and do we go into a base trade situation? Let's see. What does M Canning decide to do? What was the third is destroyed. Okay. Killjoy's fifth is destroyed. And the recall back to natural while these liberators with five and five kills. Six kills. The Colossi just burning. They're dying, but they're burning through stuff at the same time. An immortal! An immortal shows up to the party. I think that immortal's gonna get uh, dead. There are nothing that shoots up is left. Marauders are the only thing remaining. These tempests as slow as gosh, what a, trying to actually watch them shoot. God, that takes forever. DT's just hanging out. Tempest, Zealots now on the on the move. Killjoy neutralized the 44 workers while M canning down to 32. Army supplies are almost dead even. They were dead even. M canning popping out Marines and Marauders like it's his only thing he's got to do. There is no banks for either one of these players is being taken out. Again, not a whole bunch of units that shoot up. The Tempest doing work. Oh, run away, Tempest. Run away. Woo! I don't know what that shot out of or didn't shoot at, but that was interesting. Uh, okay, well that wasn't a name move, obviously. That Widow Mine gets to survive and be pesky. I don't know why it's moving around so goddamn much. Just find a damn spot already. Let's see. Is he gonna notice it's there? Nope. Oh, yes, maybe. Mm-hmm. An observer in, in construction? Nope, we got two Colossi instead. Observers over here hanging out. We got three observers. Okay, there's the other observer. There we go. It's coming over to say, hey, I know it's over there. Your SCVs are under attack. They're not SCVs. Your probes are under attack. All right, I'm canning, getting ready for another move out. We have not really seen max, fully max out armies here. But we still have eight ton of marauders. Actually, it's about a 50-50 split marauder marines, and we got some mines in there. And a singular viking to help with the tempest, but that viking's not really going to last that long. The prism gets immediately taken down, because obviously, why not? Archon's doing some work, but those are some heavy-duty units. There is no energy on these medevacs. They have already been all picked off. And again, I think we are out of marines that shoot up. 
the Marauders run back with no life left. Marines can get picked off even though they simmed. That, that energy, oh my goodness. 16 health on those Marauders. No medevacs in production. Though they ain't healing, folks. They ain't healing. All right. The Tempest and the Colossi and Archon move in. Oh, and one century. Don't forget that single century. Move in. Colossi do work. The Tempest are pushed out. A couple stalkers show up. And a recall is made. Oh, it's. Oof. Multiple Tempests still lost during that engagement. With one. Just 11 health left. Okay, they're still popping out Colossi. The Storm. Storm. Being researched. The 25 minute Storm Tech Change. Always a beauty. That widow mine still hanging out doing nothing. This widow mine's been here since like 30 minutes ago. Drilling claws, not researched. I'm. I have no idea why drilling claws has not been researched. That might be because the factory is floating. Why is the factory floating? The hell if I know. And Canning did get this base set up, defended, and fully saturated. Uh, why he just didn't try and keep this base going, I have no idea. Obviously, there was more uh, oomph to be getting gotten there, but there, these gas geysers are still pretty much at full capacity. But who am I to judge? Actually, that's not true. Actually, that is true. They got plenty of gas left. Okay, M. Canning starting to move out his army again. He finally did get some medevacs out to heal his army. Killjoy going to almost move right into him. Oh, oh no. The, oh, oh my god, the storms. Oh my god. Does he have one more storm in him? Oh my goodness. Does he have one more storm left? I do not know. Okay. That is... Medivax do not have a lot of energy left and that is a lot of bruised and battered and I did a lot of drug marines. Killjoy's army. Because he actually is still down in army supply, moving in. There's no prism here. There's a couple zealots, a couple colossi, a handful of tempests, and it's gonna come down to the storm. M Canning is supply blocked. He cannot do anything more. We got some more zealots rallying across the map. Supplies are almost dead even 27 minutes into this game. And here's the here's the engagement. Okay, the storm. Okay, across the mm, that was more zealot storm than anything. And M Canning's army just melts away. There is nothing. We have SCVs, SCVs fighting Colossi. Oh my lord. Let's, we got we got we got to get a close up of that. Wait. There we go. Look at this. Right now, we missed it again. Okay, we're gonna catch it this time. Oh my. Oh my god. Here comes the army. We're moving in. Alright. Okay. The storms. Melting units. Last I move in. Okay. SCVs! SCV! Look at this! The Colossi, he can't see him. He's too tall, and down it goes. The medevacs healing SCVs while they try to kill Colossi at their feet, nibbling at those little ankles. But that one Colossi holds on. Oh my goodness. And all of a sudden, it is 56 to 32 army. 
nothing that shoots up morphs it and there you have it folks and there you have it killjoy takes down m canning playing off race as a terran in my humble opinion he was not aggressive enough there was one moment in this game I think he could have easily just continued to move his army into Killjoy while there was a couple DTs in his base and just had won the game because he could have done catastrophic economic damage to him, even if he lost a little bit of his infrastructure. I also don't think he expanded fast enough to punish killjoy for actually locking him in his main for the first like five to six minutes of this game but it was a back and forth game all sorts of fun things going on and killjoy brings it home with one colossi five tempest Two High Templar rallying across the map. Two Zealots running across the map. Because all that M. Canning had left were three Marauders. Two of them which were in a bunker. Also very, very dead. And one just sitting on top of this ramp going, What the hell have I done with my life? And unfortunately, three sad medevacs. What a game. Hope everybody enjoyed watching that cast of Friend of the Chat, Killjoy SC, and M. Canix, a.k.a. M. Canning, playing his off race. And, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, like and subscribe and click all the buttons and uh, come check me back out on stream where hopefully I will play some ladder as a terrible gold player of all races i like to play all races i do not play random yet but i do mix up my race play and uh yeah i think if i i, I gotta work on my outro clearly uh i'm a little sloppy i'm new to I'm, I'm new i'm new to this uh trying to cast stuff business but uh yeah you have a great rest of your day and as always gg